Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and we are here in Zoodesia Zoo celebrating the second anniversary of Planet Zoo's release with cupcakes! What the heck? You guys look at how good that cupcake looks! Oh my gosh that looks absolutely delightful! Like hold up here sir! You clearly enjoy a good sweet because he has actually got like a chocolate on his head. <gasps> There's a little there's a little red eye tree frog right there and a macaroon. Okay, that's actually ridiculously cute. I did not expect the cupcakes to be so cute. We need to do an investigation. This is a cupcake inspection. Yes, hello, hello. All right, we have another red eye tree frog. Oh, look, you can see the selection over here. Oh, they're so cute. There's a panda one. There's a rainbow zebra one. It looks like there's elephants, an orangutan, a red-eyed tree frog, and a lion. Okay, that reminds me so much of our old Zoo Tycoon episodes. If you remember our Zoo, Zoo Tycoon 2 series, where we would make up different flavors of ice cream that we said the different ice cream stalls would sell, or in our Zoo Crafting series, where we were busy trying to build a donut shop that sold all sorts of different flavors of donut inspired on animals like this is so cute oh my goodness all right we're gonna try to make bernie's baked goods one of the best places in our zoo because i realized while we do this tour of the zoo during the special event which lasts a few more hours for me and hopefully several more episodes for you oh no our goliath bird eater too can die rest in peace little friend uh but oh dear and somebody is injured okay okay we're gonna get there Oh my gosh, and why? Okay, we need to call Arturo. Arturo, urgently. We need some help here. And we have some low social welfare for our lemurs, but I think they're... Oh, oh, that's why. Because they're a little bit shy. All right, look, heck, all I wanted to do today was celebrate with cupcakes. <laughs> celebrate with cupcakes. I want to go ahead and try to release more animals. And here's my thought, friends. We're going to try to stay in each of our zoos that we have built in franchise mode together over the course of the last two years until we unlock one outfit from that zoo. So we need to release four more animals from here in order to be able to unlock at least one outfit. So probably it will be today, though we don't have as many animals ready to release as I thought we would. This bongo is now pregnant. So I missed my opportunity on releasing her. <laughs> we'll have to come back to that later. Oh dear. Uh, but, oh my gosh, what a mess. I totally forgot how messy our very first zoo was. It's going to be surreal to kind of like build our way up over the different episodes to see how we advanced as our skills became bigger and better. I didn't even put a house on this like taco shop. That is just shameful. Oh my word. Wow. Okay, guys, we're going to try to tidy things up. And I was thinking we'll kind of rotate between the zoos until I run out of time and we run out of this special opportunity. It maxes out at 600 animals. I'm going to be amazed if we actually hit that number. But what could help us hit that number would... Okay, escaping animal. All right. That's the second time that little one has escaped. We'll try to figure out if we can block them from going across here again in the future. We'll get there, we'll get there. But I was thinking to celebrate the second anniversary and to kind of spruce up the Zudesia Zoo, the main zoo that we have here, also known as the Pixel Biology Sanctuary, why not go ahead and have a party for the second year anniversary, not only with these amazing cupcakes, but what about one of the most iconic of the planet zoo animals that's extremely fast breeding and happens to be ready to release into the wild very, very quickly? None other, my friends, than the peafowl! Let's get ourselves some party peafowl in here. And hopefully, like, a little garden of party peafowl that can kind of come up the back of this cliff and connect these two sides of the zoo. I think that would be a great first step in trying to fix the chaotic mess that this is. But it'd also be a great place to just, like, go ahead and celebrate some cupcakes. So let's put in... Before we get going with putting in the peafowl, I actually want to put a like keeper's station and I want to put a, uh, a rest area for our staff over here so that there's a spot closer than way over yonder where they're currently using those spots. All right, so let's get some staff facilities in here ASAP so that we'll have a nice staff room for someone to relax in. I'm going to try to make it a little bit nicer than it has been. Oh my gosh, yeah, we've been making some pretty sad looking things in this back corner for a while now. Oh dear, and now another animal has escaped. 
Wait, wait, are you gonna go back, little one? Oh, I see what the problem is. They're climbing on this really cool climbing platform, but it's just like a tiny touch bit outside of their exhibit spot. Is that gonna mess everything up? Well, you know, having them escape is going to mess everything up. <laughs> All right, let's see how much of this like dream of mine for Party Peafall we can actually get done uh, really quickly. And then we'll see how many animals we can release because we might be moving on to a new zoo for our Planet Zoo anniversary party uh, to go check out some of our other zoos, but we might loop back to this one as time goes on because I want to see how long I can keep this party going for. Oh, this is really cute. Wow, look at this little jungle spot. Oh, this might be really fun to try to put as like the back of the peafowl exhibit. Or should I have a waterfall? I think I should have a dramatic waterfall back there instead. So let's try to come up with a smaller Roman staff center, the South American. Oh, that one's pretty cute. I do like the South American look too, but we're going with like party peafowl. Let's see, okay, too big. All in one, too big. Sometimes like all you want is just a spot. Okay, look, giant insect island, too big. Indian staff room. Not quite the right theme, but actually it does have peafowl on the side. Conflicted! <laughs> Conflicted! So close and yet so far. Oh, let's just stick with the East Asian theme. But that doesn't even match anymore! Because we have a little... <laughs> this whole zoo doesn't even match anymore. Who am I kidding? This has just become kind of like a bit of chaos. I think, ironically, the aquatic exhibit area, or the aquatic one, is the least offensive to matching everything. So we're just going to put an aquatic small staff room right there. And then we're going to very quietly try to slip in a keeper hut. Oh my gosh. All right. This is the aquatic keeper hut large. Really? Really? This is the small one? Must we? Must we? Like it's really, oh, it actually matches the cupcake shop. <gasps> okay. Okay, hang on. That's actually kind of precious. I sort of love it. There we go. We'll just bury the top of it. And then we'll just kind of sneak it over here, I think. Like so. We'll try to match it up neatly. And then we do have like a nice little spot where the, the employees could just look out over what I hope will be Peafowl, or Peafowl Pal, Peafowl Palace. There we go. Can I connect you guys up? Yes. Oh my gosh, being able to come back to this zoo after so many updates and after like so much time, I just might cry. This might actually work. All right, so let's go ahead and build ourselves. We're just going to make like a nice peafowl exhibit out of concrete back here. <laughs> okay, the wooden logs and the, the hedge fencing should be okay. I don't, but you know what, let's just go with thick glass. I'm taking no chances. All right, let's do some thick glass. We'll try to do like 13. I'll leave some room back here so we can go ahead. There we go. And then we'll slide the PFL garden, okay. There we go. All right, and now I probably wanna go ahead and let's make the magic happen, friends. Let's just go in straight increments, more or less. <laughs> oh, forget that nonsense. Oh, all right. The paths are always going to be wonky and, and we're just going to have to kind of work with that. All right, but I'm hoping... There we go. And let's make them super long now there. All right, that gets us to the other side. And we're just going to fill the rest with a bunch of peafowl. We'll shrink this down to 13. Nobody ever said it was going to be pretty. Apparently 14 animals have escaped. <laughs> no! Oh, what kind of ridiculous chaos did I build this place into? Who even knows? We will go ahead and find the escaped animal in just a second. If I don't get these party peafowl in here, we're never gonna have them breeding in time to potentially release some of their babies and be able to like achieve the goal that we're trying to create here. All right, here's the party peafowl. Oh my word. And these little guys are escaping. Oh my gosh, they are. 
They're just totally ending up where they don't belong. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna have to work with the lemurs in just a second. <gasps> oh my goodness. The lemurs are just like, can we blend them? You know what? Maybe we can just solve this problem by like blending the two habitats together. <laughs> All right, ignore the alarms going off in the background for just a little bit longer, friends. We will fix that. That is fixable. We will fix it. Maybe what we need to do is just allow the two lemur like populations to, to intermingle. I'm sure that they're gonna get along fine. Oh my gosh. All right. Here, let me uh, get away from you for just a second path. Drives me absolutely batty how sometimes you just can't have the path alone for a second. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so I have more flexibility. And there we go. Oh, connecting these two sides of the zoo after so long. There's protesters. Why do we have party protesters? Why? Why must this happen? We have so many unhappy Goliath frogs. That's why it must happen. Where are our frogs? They're not with spiders in the theater or spiders in the saucers. Oh dear, but spiders in the saucers need some serious help. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, we are really like, oh my gosh, like pushing the very edges here. All right, let's see. Let's move these elder frogs out. Pablo needs some help uh, with a urgent keeper. Dolores the, Dolores the Galapagos tortoise has escaped. Of all of the wild things we have happening today, we have escaped tortoises, escaped lemurs, just going particularly wild for themselves. And then we have an, a keeper here. You know what? We're going to get a new keeper. Here's, okay, actually the keeper just showed up. We're fine. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. Nobody panic. This is going to be just a beautiful, beautiful day. Um... I think I'm actually gonna go ahead. Ooh, I just had an idea. Huh, no, we already, well, we already built this, but I was thinking maybe if we make it a little bit smaller over here, we could actually make like a picnic place that people could watch the pee fall from. I think that's a good idea. All right, let's go ahead and make this smaller real quick. Then we'll add in the pee fall as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible, maybe? Okay, that was a bit of a stretch. I'm sorry, guys. I had to at least try. All right, and then we'll put in the wooden habitat gate, like right over here. And we'll put down some employee pathing. Dun 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 dun. Important alert, it requires attention. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, why? All right. All right, we're gonna do something about this, friends. We're gonna go ahead. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the barrier fence over here. There we go. We're going to remove that. And we're going to remove that. And now this should all be... No, no. This should... Yeah. This should all be one gigantic lemur lounge. And it's going to freak out about everybody having escaped for a second. But that's not the case. <laughs> there. Finally! <laughs> the lemurs can be together, they can frolic freely, hopefully they won't fight, and hopefully that they, that everybody will be happy. Finally. All right, and then we'll put in, oh my gosh, fine. We won't put in keeper-only walkway there. And then let's get a big path down over here real quick. How big can it go? And we will have our party peafowl, despite all of the obstacles we have faced so far. Somehow, some way. There we go. Lovely! I'm sure we'll be able to make this work somehow. The secret's going to be the plant tape. Just using that to fill in all of the parts of life that... Anytime life is awkward, just cover it with plants and nobody will notice the difference. That's my, my seriesm. My wisdom I will pass on to you. You are all my legacy. I will have no children. You must bear this as, as like your burden for life. All right, meanwhile, let's go ahead and we are actually going to pluck up ourselves quite a few lovely peafowl. It looks like there's a couple of healthy females who are gold quality, no less, already awaiting us inside of... Dun dun dun! Inside of the storage, and we're going to move the party peafowl in here. I need 
a handsome gentleman, like so. He looks really good. So we'll adopt him. And then we'll go ahead and we'll grab a few more of the females. There we go. And let's check the Zoopedia for how many boys and girls can be together. Four males, 16 females. Excellent. That should allow us to go ahead and have a lot more animals. We're going to go ahead and send them all over here. We'll get a beautiful waterfall installed as quickly as I can. <sighs> all right. And hopefully everybody will be nice and healthy, have tons of babies. I think we can grab another male if we want. I really love how gorgeous these, like females are. I think we might have enough, but we do want to have a ton of party few health babies that we can just go ahead and like release when the time comes. All right. And all of you guys, are you guys all getting moved? Yeah, these guys are all getting moved as well. Excellent. All right. Let's make a new zone. We're going to actually have a party peafowl zone and we're going to get some party peafowl staff members to watch over them. All right. Work zone new work zone we're gonna add these items and this right here and why not have a little bit of overlap help for all of these spots there we go and maybe a little bit of overlap help for these spots and this is going to be party peafowl uh plaza oh beautiful alliteration and now we're gonna get some staff <laughs> our keeper friends may i welcome one of our fantastic patrons. This one is actually going to be dun 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 dun. dun. Let's see, Amy actually, which is ironic because that means both the Amys, <laughs> both our Amys actually uh, popped up in our random generator today. So this is going to be P Fowl, um, party P Fowl, a party P Fowl, like photographer. There we go. Amy. And that's really cool because Amy and Amy, both of our Amys, are taking good care of the Party Peafall Plaza. All right, no work zone assigned. Party Peafall Plaza. There we go. All right, good luck, Amy. Yay, Party Peafall! Hopefully they will delight our guests. I probably made this like way too big, but we're going to probably have a whole bunch of Peafall roaming around in here any second now. Let's go ahead and we'll get a little pond put down at the background we'll see how much i can get done for our party people real quick man and then after we like get some basics put in for the peafowl is this good whoops sorry dear give you some water that's in a spot where the water can be cleaned thank freaking goodness we'll come back in and we'll make like a little waterfall trickling down it later but for now let's come over and add in some some toys for the party peafowl because they're party peafowl at the party peafowl plaza this is such a mess <laughs> i'm gonna be honest <laughs> everything I've, I've been building lately i just feel like is just a gigantic mess apparently there's an aquarium we'll come back to that later <laughs> wow <laughs> um but indian peafowl there's a forging pit. Ooh, that actually looks really good. Uh, aardvark territory, climbing structures. Why must people like mix things together like so? Epic climbing tree. Oh my gosh, that tree is amazing. Oh, we've got to use this tree. That that tree is absolutely fantastic. All right, who escaped? <laughs> Navia, no, bad peafowl. <laughs> You're not supposed to just like shimmy your way out of the rock face, please. All right, we'll remove those and that will probably prevent that problem from happening again. I feel like we're using a lot of alliteration today. All right, enough with the blueprints. I will put down the forging pit just for a second so that hopefully the peafowl will be distracted from the option of just yeeting themselves out of here. So that's where, yeah, we'll do a nice little spot right here, there. So they've got a nice little spot to play with some things over there. We'll put down another forging pit over here. Because this is really quite the lovely view for people. Just to be able to watch them. Go ahead and enjoy. There we go. Yeah, that should be very lovely for them. Alright, almost there. Excellent, excellent. Hopefully that will make them somewhat happy. 
Doll Sheep Mountain, Scent Markers. What else do Peafowl really enjoy? Uh, I don't think they need any climbing things. Oh, Mirror Mobiles! Yes! Come on, Party Peafowl would probably want to see their own reflection. Uh, we don't really... Ooh. Don't really need that natural shelter. Nor do we need a penguin castle habitat yet, but one day, friends. Sometimes the stuff I find when I'm checking in on like what we have downloaded over the years is just amazing. All right, let's go ahead. Simple chimpanzee climbing rig. Why do people set those for peafowl? None of that has anything to do with peafowl. And then this gorgeous koi pond. Holy canoodles, it's perfect for this corner. Oh, yes. Somehow, this would absolutely make a gorgeous decoration. Is it in the right spot? I, I kind of feel like it's in the right spot. Maybe turn a little more like this to line up somewhat with our Panda Plaza. Oh my word, it's so pretty. That would absolutely be the perfect thing to have in the background of the plaza. Come on. Train modification failed my foot! Come on! Okay, let's see if we can get this in. Please! Is it too close to a path? No, I really want this down here! It's so perfect for a party! Ah! Alright, Wishes Flamingo Fountain might need to be moved. Let's move this over here. Look at all the spots that we could totally fit a bunch more plants in to fit, like, all of this. Alright. Well, wherever that amazing thing went, there it is. The koi pond habitat. Hmm. For 10 young koi fish. Well, we're not going to be putting koi fish in here. I just really want this to be able to go down because it's so pretty. I want to be able to, like, decorate this area. Uh, okay. We'll have to see if I can, I can get the beautiful beautiful koi pond down somewhere at some point but the good news is that now we at least have some peafowl who definitely look like they need a pagoda of some kind <sighs> all right how many pagodas do we have we have this little flower pagoda oh this is perfect look how cute this is yes good for the people and good for the animals if you ask me I wonder why... Okay, we're just gonna put this here for now. Oh, that's actually really lovely. And look, now the peafowl have a place to get out of the rain. I just need to go ahead and get that, like, stone that they had. And put the stone patterning down in here. Alright, meanwhile, let's do smooth rock for now. Or I guess we'll do soil. There we go. Oh no, and the pygmy hippotami are fighting! All right, I feel like we still have so much more we could do to make this whole place a lot nicer, but let's go ahead. Alpha status for the Okapi as well, which means that we probably need to release... Is it the Okapi that are fighting? Elderly and are in... Okay, we're going to release this adult. And then dangerous fighting for alpha status. Oh, here in Rainforest Secrets, among the pygmy hippos! Hercules' son grew up, that's the problem. All right, let's go ahead release this guy into the wild oh my word we have so many things that we could definitely be fixing did that get us ah we're two animals away all right let's find two animals that we are okay with saying goodbye to uh while the peafowl work on trying to provide us with plenty of eggs and new babies i hope and we have cupcakes and a cupcake plaza we'll work on this another day or two because <laughs> i really wanted to make progress with this and are any of these tortoises, like, they're still so young. How many years worth of tortoises are we just going to be staring at dozens? Of Look at all the Galapagos tortoises. There are so many of them. Why can't they be the right age? They're not going to be ready to be released into the wild until they're, like, freaking 22. That's so many years away. All right, let's find two more animals somewhere who are going to become volunteers. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, maturity. Let's look for some older ones. Oh, that was 95? We have a 95-year-old tortoise? What? 
That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Then we have Jaja -Ja Dragon Majestic, the Indian Rhino. We have an 18-year-old set of Brazilian Pink Salmon Tarantulas, which I didn't know. We need to get more Timberwolves. <gasps> 18 years old? Gizan is 18 years old? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have some ancient, ancient animals in here, guys. I'm sort of stunned, including a lot of Goliath bird eaters. Oh, we do have more wolves. Good. We should probably go ahead and let a couple of the older ones, Mars and Ember, if they're ever going to have a chance to be able to make their own packs, we got to release them now. All right. And who do we have? Oh, we just need one more animal. All right. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to see if we can pick one at random. We have a lot of flamingos who are still having babies. <laughs> I need to rename all of our party peafowl. Holy canoodles. All right. And then maybe we can go ahead and bashful over here. Who has been waiting? Oh, she's been in the trade center for like years. I think Bashful's ready to go. And we'll release her to help with the genetic diversity in the wild. And we've done it. <laughs> oh my gosh. And there we go, you guys. We have now earned the tiger outfit and a red panda. Yes. Okay. Well, we've started with the party Pfal Plaza. I, I would say it's still kind of a mess in progress. I'm not going to lie. I just realized we don't even have our pangolins going. We're going to be coming back to the Zugesia Zoo for sure. But we're going to check in on some of our other zoos to see if we can make some progress on the challenge and just get to like the next 20. And then we will rotate back over here to tidy up Party PFL Plaza as we carry on sprinkling cupcakes behind us and trying to make sure that we walk through all of our chaotic memories of our Planet Zoo adventures. So if you guys could do please leave a like for the absolute chaos that is the original first zoo what a mess it is. We have so much work to do to fix it. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands of adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. No, not a pangolin death. Why must that bring back so many memories? Why?